Good morning, folks. Streeter Boys Outdoors, checking traps. Uh, November 4th or 5th. But we got an empty one there. Bait was gone. Filled it back up. Crook caught the skunk. Nothing to put bait in that one. There's just trails all over back here. We'll go, uh... Uh-oh. Well, that dog proof is... A little bit of bait left in there, but check this out. We got us a coon. First coon of this year. How you doing, buddy? Oh yeah, he's 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 what you call a mud ball. Oh yeah, he's dirty. He's dirty and he's mad. All right, we'll take care of him and uh, hold on. Wait a second. Shoot. Oh, we got another one. Got two raccoons. Let's follow the trail. I put this one over here two days ago, I think. Yeah. All right. Hey, not bad sized one there. Look at you, little buddy. Oh, yeah. You're not bad at all. Yeah, he's locked up in there pretty good. All right. All right, two coons so far. And I believe I have something I have something over in one of over by my bales. You can't see it from here. I think it's a cat and uh but not a bobcat, feral cat. So let me get these coons taken care of. All right, I put in two more canine sets yesterday and two more dog proofs just over here down the trail and uh, didn't have anything in them, had to rebate them. But anyway, we'll take care of this guy and his buddy way over there. I'll get back to you. All right, cool, two coons so far. Hey guys, uh, Here's the raccoons I just caught. Not too bad. Caught them on a backwater bait, a corn coon bait. And uh, they're probably about 15 pounds, somewhere in that area. That one looks smaller because he's all wet. I'm gonna have to clean him off, but yeah. All right, we'll take that every day. All right, I got I have, I do, like I said, I got something over there by them bales. Right there. And uh, we're going to go up there and check it out. All right, I'll get back to you. Oh, more good news. Got another raccoon catch down here. Yeah, he growling. How you doing? Oh, yeah, listen to him. Yeah, he growling. What'd you mess up? Whoop. Oh, take it easy. Um, what'd you mess up my fox set for, buddy? Hey, yep, three coons so far. There's some coon poop right there, so. Hey, hey, easy, easy. Okay. All right, well, uh, we're going to get this guy take care of, remake the set, and then I got uh, I got one more at the other bales on the, on the west end. And then I got to go up the road and check two more. So we'll get back to you. All right, three coon. Road for about three miles. 
Uh, <laughs> I have a, I have a canine set right over there in that corner. And I come over here. Um, this is a bean field and I, I drove around. It's really hard to find tracks and sign and stuff like that. But this is a nice little area where uh, a lot of uh, good food source around. There's turkeys. I seen turkeys over here yesterday coming out of over there and they they walk right through this area in here so um but anyway check this out look at this crater look at this is that insane or what look what we got big old woo 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 big old fat badger and he's not happy look at that thing look how they dig that oh yeah he's caught good Try to get a picture. Listen to him. Well, I've had a coon, coon mess up my fox set. Now I got a badger that got into my got into my uh, coyote. But uh, yeah, Bridger uh, number two, Douglas. Right here. The only thing that sucks that isn't good about this is that the hide the furs the fur is nothing. So. Uh, they don't even start to prime up till after the first first of the year, February. So, but anyway, but man, look at that perfect circle. Man, they just dig the shit. Uh, they're just digging machines. Pretty badass. I've never had one hissing at me like this. A lot of times they just start digging down. But that that's being held uh, with a twelve inch. Uh, Fox Hollow uh, Steak Earth Anchor. So, all right, we'll take care of it and uh, we'll try to get a better look at it. All righty, cool. Get some pictures here. All right. All right, guys. I'm in the badger, the badger circle. Just uh, dispatched it. And he's in there pretty good. Look at that pad catch. Has everybody done a remake inside a badger crater before? I never have. Look at that thing. Yeah, their, 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 their hide is just really thin. But uh, he's a big boy. I'd say he's at least... At least 20 pounds if not a little bit bigger but anyway um this was uh caught this on uh clint locklear's liquid mouse is his uh yote dope and uh uh coyote pee and uh a little bit of long distance call it was getting pretty cool cool overnight here so uh all right, I just thought I'd show you that, and uh, I'll probably pull this trap. I'm gonna go up to my brother's. Um, he's about an hour and a half away from here, so I'll probably throw pull the trap, throw him in the bucket. I got three, one badger, three raccoons today, so hell, that ain't too bad. I only have 13 traps out. Um, the deer season opens up next Saturday, so um, I'll continue to check the ones I have, have set. And then uh, come Friday, I'll uh, I'll just pull them, take it off the, you know, I'll, I'll probably just take this one out of here anyway. But pull the trap, or uh, pull my traps and go deer hunt with my brother and my dad, and hopefully I can get some video of that. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Streeter Boys Outdoors, um, if you like raw, if you just like this raw footage, man, I'm using my phone to record everything. And uh, I up upload everything from my phone. So, uh, um, yeah, you like this kind of stuff, sub, subscribe, comment, good or bad. Um, I'll sub you back, you know, if you're into the same thing. If you like to do, go out trapping and video your, your catches, no, I, I don't care how fancy it is. It can be like this or whatever, man, a full production crew. But, uh, yeah, big badger and three coons today. All right, peace.